Hello everyone, myself Dr. Chani Aswal and I welcome you again. So in previous session, we have discussed the installation of Teleprime and creation of company. So those who have missed this session, they can watch it on the same channel. In today's session, we will explore an important aspect of Teleprime that is the creation of group and ledger in Teleprime. Now let's understand what are groups in Teleprime. So in Tele, Groups are used to classify and summarize ledger accounts. So it help us in organizing our financial data. We can summarize and we can categorize various type of transactions under the one heading. For example, all expense related item we can group under the indirect expenses in the same way all income related items we can list under the direct income. So ultimately this facilitate us in systematic preparation of financial reporting and that makes analysis much more simpler. Now there are two types of groups in Teleprime, predefined groups and the user defined groups. So predefined groups are the default groups that is provided by Tele, for example, current assets, sundry creditor, assets. So these all are the examples of predefined groups and these are very basic to the any financial categorization. And uh, in Tele Prime, uh, there are 28 predefined groups that are already exist. On the other hand, user defined group can be created on specific business need. So it is a customized one. So for example, if I want to maintain a separate office expenses from the factory expenses, so I can create a separate group for each. Now let's understand how do we create a group in Tele Prime. So there are two ways of group creation. So we can go for single group creation, we can go for multiple group creation. So for single group creation, we can follow this path that is the gateway of Tele, create and group. And in case if you want to create a n number of our groups at a one time, in that case, we have to follow the gateway of Tele, charts of account, we have to select groups under the accounting master and we have to click on multi create. So in this way, we can create a group in Tele Prime. Now let's understand the another important aspect and that is the ledger. So ledgers are considered as the backbone of any accounting system and it plays a very important role in organizing and analyzing the financial transaction. So we can say ledgers are individual accounts where transaction related to a particular category are recorded. For example, sales related transaction we record in a sales ledger and expense related uh, transaction we record in a expense ledger. In Tele Prime, we have a two predefined ledger that is the profit and loss account and the cash account. So that means we are not supposed to create these two account uh, that is the profit and loss account and cash account. This is already inbuilt in Tele Prime. Now let's understand the procedure for creating a ledger. So like the group, the procedure is same. There are two ways we can create single ledger and we can create multiple ledger. So for the single ledger, we can follow this path that is the gateway of Tele create ledger. We have to provide the ledger name and under which uh, group we have to make that particular ledger and we have to accept all the information and save the ledger. Then uh, we can go for the multiple one also. So for that we have to follow this path. Gateway of Tele, charts of account. We have to select ledger under the accounting master and we have to click on multi create and we have to provide the necessary information like the ledger name under which group we have to create uh, that ledger and we have to accept and save the ledger. So in this way we can create a ledger in Tele Prime. Now let's understand how do we create groups and ledger in Tele Prime. So let me open a Tele software. So here this is my main window gateway of Tele. So company I have already created. If you have missed how we create a company you can watch the previous session. So uh, as I already mentioned in Tele Prime we have 28 predefined groups. So if you want to see where their groups are you can go to the charts of account and if you go to the accounting master and if you select the groups you will find there are these all are the groups. So here you can see it is mentioned 28. So these groups are already established right now. In the same way, I have already told you there are two ledgers which is already 
there that is the profit and loss account and cash account so if you go to this alter option if you go to the ledger so you will find this two ledgers are there that is the cash and the profit and loss account right i have not made this ledger so this is by default now let's understand how do we create a groups first we will uh, understand how do we create a group with the single then we'll see how we create a multiple group so for the single group we can go to the create option under the create option we can go to the group information then this window will appear so we have to mention the which group we want to create so let's suppose i want to create a office expenses this is my indirect expenses so i have to select here under which group i want to create so here you can see the list is appear so i need to click on indirect expenses once you click on it it will ask you the basic information so this are the setting that will help you to manage your financial data so for a time being i am just ignoring this information and i will accept it right so i have created a one group now let's suppose if i want to create a more than one group so for creating a more than one group i can go to the charts of accounts i can go to the group option if you click on it you will see here on the right hand side the multi master options is there so if you click on the multi master here you will get this option so you can go to the multi create one then it will ask you to provide the name of group now let's suppose i want to create a group electricity expenses so this is again this is your indirect expenses so let me select indirect expenses here now another group let's suppose if i want to create that will be your profit on investment so this will be come under the indirect income so here i need to select indirect income here now in this way i can create a number of groups so this is the one part we can go for the multiple one right now if you want to alter that group so that option is also there you can go to the group option here there is a option of alter you can go that you can alter any group right now let's move to the second part that is the creation of ledger so if you want to create only the one ledger for that you can go to the create option and here there is option of ledger so you have to provide the name of the ledger so let's suppose i want to create a ledger of shashank and this is let's say my sundry data so i need to select here sundry data again it will ask you some basic information so depending upon your requirement you can set this uh, additional features so for the time being i am just skipping it and uh, here you can write the balance let's suppose the amount that is related to the shashank will be 10000 so i need to mention the amount here so while creating a group it will ask, not ask for the amount but here you need to mention the ledger balances so ultimately this is a sunday data so debit is automatically come this is the billing information i have to save it now i have created the one ledger and you will see the impact of ledger is reflecting here right this is on the debit side now let's understand how do we create a multiple ledger so for that you need to go to the charts of account ledger option and here there is option of multi master and we'll select multi create now let's suppose i want to create a new ledger that is the ria and let's say she is my sundry creditors and the amount due is 30000 this is my first one now let's suppose i have fixed asset that is the land and building and this will be your fixed asset so group is very important you have to know which ledger will go to under which group so i need to select this group information let's say 1 lakh so let's create one more so let's suppose i want to create a ledger of let's suppose nia so this is let's say my sundry data so you need to select sundry data and let's suppose i need to mention the amount so i have created all the ledgers in a one go 
right so ultimately it will save our time right so instead of creating ledger one by one we can go for the multi create option so in this way we can create a ledgers and groups in tele prime so thank you everyone